Hi, um, I'm making this video because um, I'm pissed off, basically, um, with the mental health service in this country. I've just been for my mental health assessment, waited like two months for this appointment, by the way, like anything could have happened in two months. Could have, people are dying, do you know what I mean? It's just not fair. Um, anyway, it was just a load of shit. Um, didn't achieve anything. I uh, went in, told them everything. They pulled my heart out. Uh, about sexual abuse, bulimia, my alcoholism, my drug use, um, depression, suicide attempts, self harm, all of that. And nothing, nothing's come from it. Um, so I told, like, I went in and I told the first person who, like, writes it all down. He was lovely. Um, I told him everything, as you do. Then he's like, oh, we're going to speak to the doctor. Uh, we'll consult with him, with her even. Um, so that's what I did. I waited half an hour in the waiting room. Um, and they came back and... Oh, and we're gonna. We're going to want you to come back in, um, and get like counselling. But I was like, I've been through all this before. I've been through counselling, had CBT. I've done all this. I know what's wrong with us. Like, I don't need. I know. I, I know what I've got. Like, I know what it is. Um, and they just. It was ridiculous. Seriously, like, I, the doctor went through like oh. Uh, like when I went in, when I went in, she went, "Oh, you're from Sunderland. Uh, you went to school here. You went to uni here. Drugs, alcohol, blah blah blah." She didn't even mention the word, like one of the main parts of bulimia, which I've had like half of my life. And I had a reminder. I'm like, "Oh, well, I had to tell her really." I go, "Oh, um, I'm, I'm the bulimia." And she's like, "Oh, she seems shocked, but she should know that." And. It's stupid, and all I've offered us is to go in and talk. But I've been through that. I've been to rehab. I've had counselling. I've had. I've done everything. And I just, I just wanted to go there and get like a therapist, like not a therapist, a psychiatrist, so I can like get the right help because I know what it is. And like they don't, they think I'm dumb. They're like, oh. Um, she didn't even know that I, like, I told everyone beforehand that about my detox, my self-detox I've done three times, sorry, three times, uh, this year, and <laughs> so it's quite funny actually, she said, oh, don't do that again, Owen, uh, you can't do that again, but, okay, I'll try not, I'm not planning on it, but... <laughs> It happens, you know what I mean? Like, I can't help it. It's my head. It's my, there's something wrong in my head. It's not just the alcohol, either. it's the alcohol, it's everything. Oh, she seemed, she seemed like I didn't know anything. Like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Or I, I know that I've been to rehab. I know that you shouldn't self detox, but you know how long it takes to get the pills to have a professional detox. It's ridiculous. Um, because I would do that. I would, I, it was easy doing it with the pills, doing it with you by yourself. And I'll call, tell someone about it when you're doing it. If you do, like, hopefully it won't happen again, but you never know, because it always seems to come back. Um, tell someone, I wouldn't tell anyone, I'll do it myself. That's what I've been doing. Oh, you get brain damage, you could die, I know that. <laughs> Let's stop the alcohol one, I'm like, okay. Like, I'm not drinking at the moment, but you never know what's going to happen. Like, he just chairs like I was dumb. And, like, I know a lot about mental health. I've been through it all. I've researched everything. I know stuff. Watched documentaries, films, read loads of books. Because I wanted to know what I had. Like, I wanted to know what's wrong. I just wanted to know that I'm not actually like, crazy. But, well, I am crazy, but I know I wanted to put a name to it, but, oh, just come back in, I'll oh, refer you, like, she's not even, I don't know anything about my bulimia, and that's one of the main things, 
and she seemed shocked to hear it and it's just oh well we're, we're fundamental uh, the eating disorder team and everything I'm like okay um like i know what to do like i've been through all this therapy before like eating disorders alcohol obviously drugs i know it all like i've had cbt I just, it just doesn't work i just need i don't know what i need but i need someone to just I keep waiting for things, like, it takes months for people to die in. Like, I just got off, um, cause my video got released that Alex, my photographer friend, made last night about my suicide attempt and everything. And lots of people contacted us and it was lovely to hear from everyone. Seeing that, like, I'm brave and everything for sharing my story, but I think sharing just, I'm an open book now because I just don't care anymore. Um, more people need to talk about mental health because it's, it's getting ridiculous. People are dying, and my friend from college messages, and she's saying that our cousin committed suicide last week, and he was only sixteen. Because uh, he, he couldn't get in the, like, the, the service, and it's sad. It's just, and she's a friend. She said a friend. Um, had a knife against her throat while she was on the phone to her and they just don't do anything, they don't care like, well obviously care but it needs to happen faster, it's like oh, I don't know, like I could I know I'm not gonna but you'd never know what's happen gonna happen people, I could like relapse I could kill myself or through just waiting for this appointment it's not right, it's sad, it's it's terrifying the, this world we're living in where people are dying because of stupid things that could be helped it's not fair um anyway it's just it's just i'm angry about this and like i am going to go back but it'll probably be next year or something when i get the appointment it's stupid um I don't know what they're going to do. Probably through all the same shit I've been through before. Not that I was shit, like rehab was really helpful. And I enjoyed that. Well, you know what I mean, I, it was good. Um, but I'm just going to go through the whole thing again. And it's going to happen over and over again. And it's not, it's not right. And then I need, I need to do something about it. and. It needs to stop. Right, that's my rant done. Just, I hate people who think you're dumb and you don't know anything. Like acting like, oh, oh I'm, oh, I just, uh, I hate. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop before I get really angry. Like, I could relapse right now. Not that I'm gonna, but like, if someone could, after going to there, like I got so riled up, like I'll never get angry at people. Like I didn't shout or anything, I just expressed my opinion. I told them that people are dying through this stupid disservice. It's waiting for things. Anyway, I'll let you know when I've got an update, but pff, maybe two years or something? I don't know, it's stupid. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll... See you later. Bye.